impressions of the Wet n Wild Unicorn Glow Collection. Look at that. The box is holographic, first of all. Props for that. And it's very, very cool. So this was available at Beautycon and then on Ulta's website and then on Wet n Wild's website. So I got the Poe collection to review. Um, and that's what we're gonna do today. So it comes all bubble wrapped very nicely. So let me just get that out of the way first. And then on the inside, it has all of the products. So you get a brush, uh, three pigments, a two lip uh, transformers, and then three highlights. So I do already have the original rainbow highlighter from them in uh, Unicorn Glow. So. I'm going to pop this one out and I will be swatching my already open one because I don't want to open this one and have two. So I'm going to start by swatching the highlighters first and then we will go from there. So let me grab mine. Okay, so I have my Unicorn Glow Rainbow Highlighter right here. And um, it looks like this. Um, there's really nice defined lines of color so when you swipe across you actually can see like the different colors and then when you kind of blend them together you get like a really nice greenish blue um, wow it's not picking up on camera it looks like that it's just like a really pretty shift it's nothing too intense and nothing too like scary I would say um, next let's do the bronze over the rainbow which is actually kind of funny um, which is this one right here with the different shades of bronze as you would imagine so this one is called bronze over the rainbow it looks like that really pretty um, this one is kind of chunkier, but it looks like that when you swatch it in full. And then if you swipe across the whole thing, um, this one it's kind of harder to tell the different colors, but it looks really, really pretty. I will have to see it. It actually kind of doesn't swatch that great. Um, maybe with the brush it would do better, but I'm gonna try the, br the brush with the last one. So this last one is called Everlasting Glow and it is a pretty pink and white striped situation. Um, this honestly could be a blush topper, a highlight and eyeshadow. I mean, all of these, you can multi-purpose them, um, especially if you work like a office job or a day job and you're not able to wear bright rainbow highlights uh, in that day job. I wish I could wear it in my day job, but I definitely cannot, which is very sad. Well, this is what that looks like. Um, there is like a stripe of gold in there, which is a little bit weird. But that's what this one swatched way better, so you can see the colors. This one kicked up a little bit of powder as well. Um, you can actually see the stripes of color on my arm. Well, maybe you can't. There we go. There's actually one that's like iridescent, and it looks pretty cool. When it all mixes together, it looks like that right there. It's like a really pretty like white, pink highlight. It's right here. So we're gonna go ahead and use the brush that comes in this collection, which I know there's like a lot of like drama about this brush because there's a lot of different unicorn handled brushes out there. But same with like the Little Mermaid brushes that came out. There's been a ton of like, well, we were the original and blah, 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 blah. And I totally understand that like people don't want to be ripped off and they don't want their design to be ripped off. But I also feel like trends change and next year nobody will care about this at all. So the handle is like an iridescent blue, purpley pink, and it's like a black base, obviously, and the brush is a thin, nice white brush. So we're just gonna put it in here. Let's see. You can see the color is kind of on, on this better than on my hand. I don't think 
did not pick up very well on my face. This one picks up a decent amount of powder. But, like, using it on my arm, because my face is already has makeup on it, obviously. But using it on my arm, it flings powder around, for sure, this brush does. Um, but it gives a pretty good glow on my arm. I don't, it's very light with the brush, so you could use this brush or just use it as like a decor piece. There's powder everywhere now, but it's very pretty. It's super cute. I'm not upset that I have it, that kind of thing. It'll be good for photos and stuff like that. So let me pull out the pigments and we'll do those next, and then we're going to do the lipsticks. Actually, let's do the lipsticks first because they're what I was really excited about. So the first one is called... Unicorn Soul, and it's the Blue Shift. Now, these actually have a little bit different packaging than their normal lipsticks. They're uh, solid black all the way, all the way, and then they have a blue stripe on them. Uh, well, this one has a blue and that one has a white one. Um, it also has a unicorn on it, and it's the Megalass Iridescent Lip Color is what it says. And... So it looks like that with the little unicorn. And then on the bullet, there is a little unicorn. There is a little unicorn on the bullet as well, which is honestly the cutest thing ever. So let's roll that back down so we don't ruin it and put this on my lips. Okay, so this is Unicorn Soul, and this is nothing on my lips, and I'm actually like staring at myself in the viewfinder right now trying to find the best way to show you guys. It's pretty creamy. It does tug a little bit, um, but I mean, the Met Wet n Wild formula kind of does tug a little bit, so I'm not super upset about it. But it's really pretty like blue, pink iridescence. I'm digging it. That's really cute. This would be really cute over like um, a liquid lip, something you want to just make a little bit more interesting or um, that kind of thing. Is this like supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced one? Somebody tell me in the comments. And then the white one is called Immortal Tears, which that's cute. And again with the packaging of this brand. So the next one is called Immortal Tears, which is the white one. Um, I don't think you guys can really see it, but it's holographic and mine's a little bit janky, so we're just gonna go with it. It looks like this in the tube. So let's just put it on and we will see what we're working with. Now, truly, in the camera, I do not see a difference in these. Um, let me swatch them on my under hand and maybe I can tell. They're really pretty when you swatch them on your hand. I mean, they look cool on my lips too. I'm not, like, definitely not knocking it. So, we're gonna go on and we are going to do the loose pigments. So these are limited edition, just like everything else. And these are called, this first one is a blue one. It is called Unicorn Wishes. Um, I hate the way they do the packaging on these because they cover the top with the limited edition sticker and then you can't, um, you have to peel it off to open it and it's very annoying, honestly. Um, I do have some of their other like pigments that were limited edition and I can truly count the number of times I've used them on one hand, I think. So I did see swatches of these though and they looked really, really pretty so maybe I can break my habit of never using them and use these ones. Okay, so in case you guys haven't seen them before, they have a little topper, like a salt shaker right there, and uh, so you have to flip it open, and it's not like too hard. Um, you have to flip it open and then you just shake some out. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this really quick before I move my hand because it's gonna fall everywhere I feel. So this is that blue right here on the list. 
I swatched it in a really bad spot, I'm sorry. That is the blue one. The blue one is called Unicorn uh, Wishes, again. So it has blue uh, gold shimmers in it when you swatch it. So I didn't see those before. It's not like a deal breaker, but it's definitely interesting. Um, this packaging is so hard to get off. It's kind of upsetting me, honestly. I truly cannot imagine someone's big nails trying to get this off of here. It would break my soul. So this light purple one is called Pegasus Flutter. That's super adorable. Um, again, it has the same top. It is a really pretty like light purple color. It has like a weird iridescence, which I truly enjoy. I have to find a spot that's not already covered in something else. I have like a ton of pigment. It's kind of more like a shimmer. It is right here. And it just has like a really pretty light purple iridescence, which I personally like and know I could definitely use that in a lot of makeup looks just because I don't do like hardcore insane makeup looks um, but and you could use that as a highlight um, you could use it honestly as anything um, so that one I think is pretty versatile like to put in the sun of your lip even to kind of highlight your lips that would be really pretty yeah um, I did pay $29.99 for this box plus shipping in case you guys were wondering I'm sure you've already like seen and heard I also do believe this is still available on the Wet n Wild website but I'm not 100% positive, so I will let you know down below. The last pigment is a dark purple, and it's called Mythical Dreams. That's pretty adorable, honestly. I'm gonna do it over top of my wrist bruise. On my wrist, it looks like that. You truly can't see it, which is kind of annoying. So let me throw some more out there. So when you add pigment to it, it definitely helps. Um, it also helps if I swatch it in a place where you can see it. That would be great. But again, this one does have an iridescence to it as well. It's a really nice purple. Um, I know I can incorporate that in a lot of looks and even like use it as lip art and that kind of stuff. So I'm truly like pretty cool about having this collection. Um, the only thing I have to say is like I don't really like the brush that much. Um, and that's kind of the only thing. The lipsticks are really comfortable. Again, I've had this on for a while. You guys saw when I put it on. So I've had it on for a while. I'll have to play with the highlights more, obviously, and I'll give you guys a full review. It'll probably be in my June favorites, that kind of thing. But I So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely am excited to have this collection in my collection. Ha 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 ha. And I think the concept is super unique. It's really pretty. I mean, it's not super unique, but definitely, like, this is definitely on trend right now. The unicorns, everybody's, like, obsessed with mermaids, unicorns, mythical creatures, and I'm clearly no exception. No exception. Um, I love mermaids, fairies, anything like that, unicorns. It's all, it's all the same to me, basically. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to hang out with me anywhere else on social media, it's all down below. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. You can also... Subscribe to my channel and see my face more often and uh, check out what I do with these makeup and I will uh, post some tutorials using this stuff obviously. I will again let you guys know if this is still available down below in the description box and check out any other links that I have down there and I will talk to you all in the next video. I hope you're having a great day, week, weekend whenever you're watching this and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.